Zebi was created in 2015 by Silicon Valley veterans. It is a globally innovative big data platform with five products currently and adding some more very soon. So with me is Sudar Kapam, the CEO of Zebi. Welcome. Nice to see you again. Yes, great to see you again, too. So I mentioned five products. So let's start with that. <laughs> Explain those to me, and then let's talk about your new initiatives that you're doing. So what are the five products? Is it sure, we'll do. So our first product is for the land registry. Uh, it's called Zebi Asset Chain. Yes. Um, and it basically gives uh, assurance for the buyer and seller and even the government that actually manages the title database. Mm -hmm. um, our second product is for the education market. It's called uh, Zebi Edu Chain. Again, uh, gives peace of mind for the student as well as the university by authenticating uh, uh, degree certificates, student transcripts, and any other student records. Okay. Um, the third product is Zebi AI Chain. So it has a little bit of artificial intelligence built into it. This is primarily for, um, in India there is a rule uh, where the hotels have to report guest check-in information on a daily basis to the local police station. So you can imagine how cumbersome it can get. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you have a million visitors sure. to that uh, city, mm -hmm. uh, like Mumbai, mm -hmm. and the police are filled with paper. <laughs> um, so our system basically allows streamlined check-in through smartphone or a personal computer and uh, in real time transmits the information to the police. And the police have uh, AI tools, artificial intelligence tools, such as facial recognition, mm -hmm. machine learning, mm -hmm. so that they can mix and match the data with uh, existing criminal databases. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our fourth product is uh, Zebi Doc Chain, and uh, this is something uh, new. Mm. It's kind of uh, basically tapping the credentialing market. Okay. So for example, let's say uh, you, know, you do vocational jobs like uh, a nurse uh, or you are a lawyer. Then in India, there are uh, regulatory bodies or organizations that actually certify okay. that you are indeed an, a qualified nurse or you are indeed a qualified lawyer. Our fifth product is um, for the automotive industry. Hmm. And uh, this uh, happened uh, very recently when uh, one of the Middle Eastern countries approached us to basically blockchain their entire automotive, uh, uh, basically all the cars that are imported into the country, okay. all the way till they're scrapped. Okay. So all the way from import, registration, tax payments, repairs, Any kind uh, of damage, water damage, anything like that would all be logged. Interesting. Everything. Okay. Everything, including violations, citations, mm. tickets. Hmm. Um, so complete end-to-end -end, um, history of a car that is imported into a country. The government wants to put all of that on the blockchain. Okay. Right? So the common theme here is record keeping. Um, much that more efficient, correct. unhackable, right? Right, and uh, that because it's decentralized data with multiple okay. nodes. Okay. So you can't hack into one node and you know mm -hmm. uh, tinker with the database because the other nodes, by the consensus protocol, will automatically decline. Yeah. Which is how the blockchain edits. works. So this correct. is a great application. I mean, the applications almost seem endless <laughs> for yes. what you're doing. Right. I mean, I'm all of a sudden thinking of other ideas. So. Yeah. Okay, so you've got two new products. Tell me about those. So um, these products also span uh, very big industry verticals. Um, the first product is uh, Zebi Telechain, and uh, this is basically for the telecommunications industry. Um, so where you can potentially track the efficiency with which the carriers are actually uh, tracking international roaming. So for example, uh, if you travel on vacation to Europe, then uh, naturally AT&T or Verizon has a deal with Orange or right. you know, some other carrier in Europe. And then based on your telephone usage for calls, then there is this inter-carrier billing. And a lot of the times, there are issues mm. with respect to uh, that billing. 
the international, etc. And uh, basically uh, give a nice auditable, transparent uh, record. In the seventh product. <laughs> the seventh product is uh, Zebi FinChain. It's for the banking and financial industry. So basically, um, in India, if you, uh, the, it's a, you know, the SEC equivalent in India is called SEBI, okay. uh, S-E-B-I. And uh, uh, SEBI mandates that certain forms of communication between an individual to a broker, to the exchange, and the financial advisor, they are all recorded. Okay. Um, specifically, let's say if uh, a financial advisor today decides that for your personal portfolio, uh, you need to buy uh, a specific company's stock, and then um, they need to get consent from you. Uh, and then once you give them the consent, they need to approach your broker and say, uh, you can now go ahead and cross the trade on the exchange. Naturally, when you are recording and keeping all this communication in a database, there is a chance that somebody could tamper with it. Thank you so much, Sidhir, for coming. Thank you, Jane. It's wonderful to see the progress you're making. I mean, it's really interesting technology with a lot of different applications sure. out there. So thank, thank you. you. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.